Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video with me, Unlucky. Um, today we're going to do, blah, 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 blah. we're going to be going going through a uh, uh, some more info on Drug Dealer Simulator Two, and uh, once again, you can find all this information on Steam if you haven't looked at yourself. I will be putting putting a link in it in this in the description down below. So you can see for yourselves. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna. There are three new things that we didn't uh, bring up on the last video, so I thought I'd make a new one to bring up these. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much more info they're gonna release until tomorrow, but um, this will be the last one I make about the video until I've played it myself. So yeah, let's just continue. Let's just go into this. Devlog, gather your party and venture forth or something to that effect. So what's a, what about the coop? As you've undoubtedly heard, and if you didn't, where the hell have you been hiding? DDS2 has a cooperation mode that allows you to play in two or three person groups. If you tick the allow joining box while starting your ses session, players can join at any time during your game. Sounds exciting. Um, <clears throat> while playing together, you can share tasks and responsibilities, and you can also officially assign clients to each player. If you can afford to buy a boat or a car, you can all travel together around the map, or you can say, I take this part, you take that one, and make quick work of all the quests. That sounds awesome, you know. Um, well, we're sure you're going to use Discord or something similar while playing. There's also a chat in game that allows you to communicate with your friends in the session. Going to make sure the dope gets delivered, right? Love that. <coughs> and, ah, oh, and remember that handy space we talked about in the previous devlog? Well, it's a shared space for all the players in a session that can be accessed by everyone at the same time. No more waiting for your mate to finish browsing through, just to get just get that money out and go buy some clothes or something like that. Honestly, we can't wait to see what you and your buddies will get yourself into in the game. They're discussing something in here, I'm guessing. Dealer as a true business person, you need to make yourself presentable. So what do you dress in, you ask? Well, let's see. First of all, you gotta customize your character, and yes, you can already do that in the demo. You can chase your shoes, pants, tops, hats, backpacks, and jewelry. And they're just not a decoration. Your clothes impact your stats. What stats get impacted by your great looks? Agility impacts your overall mobility and performance of parkour. That's great. Visibility impacts your visibility to others. Comfort impacts the durations of stage status status impacts the day, impacts the duration of status effects, both positive and negative. Don't really know what that means. Um but I guess we're gonna find out. Swag helps in your negotiations and gaining more respect. Sus affects how su suspicious you look. Some items included can you can also add more storage slots and quick slots, and some clothes also add secret slots, which are handy when you get accosted by bandits trying to steal your stuff. All the items stashed in the secret slots are less likely to be discovered and taken away from you. Sounds great. To buy new clothes, simply visit the clothes shop. To change, interact with the robot wardrobe in your hideout or with the changing room in the shop. What look will you be going for? This sounds great, man. So you will actually be, you will be able to change clothes and what kind of clothes you wear will affect you in the game. So if you dress like this, you get more respect. If you dress like this, you can parkour a lot easily and get away from the cops and stuff like that. So that sounds really great, man. Uh, they put a lot of effort into this game and it's very vis visible already. So I just can't wait to see um, when the full game gets released and they've added everything that we've told them during the demo, I think this game is going to be a fucking banger, man. Dealers, time to look into one of the most important aspects of being a business person. 
your headquarters, and in this case, hideouts. You start your adventure with one hideout, your trusty bunker you wake, you, you wake up in. As you, pro as you progress through the story, you unlock the option to buy more locations. Obviously, you're not buying a pig in a poke. Before deciding to spend your hard-earned money, you can get inside the prospective hideout and take a good look around. That's something that we haven't done, been able to do before. We've seen pictures and price, but we haven't been able to go there ourselves. And take a good look around as you should, as the place, size and location is not the only thing that matters. Some hideouts will have running water, which allows you to grow cannabis there without having to run to the nearest shop to buy some. Some hideouts will have phone cables you can use to set up a telephone and gain the ability to listen to recorded messages. It's a very important decision you gotta make there. As any good business person, you will want your headquarters to look their best and be functional. Uh, you, can be f you can furnish your hideout however you like. If you invest in a bed, you can sleep in it to skip time at night. And if you place the correct type of furniture, you can increase your handy space. What is the handy space? It's a storage of a kind, but it gets better. Handy space is available everywhere in your hideout. You don't need to interact with the specific box to get things out. Just open your inventory when in the hideout and you can move things from handy space into your own inventory. Neat. Another important feature of your hideout is substance storage. You can upgrade the storage to hold more varieties of substances by playing, placing additional containers. And there is also a very real life matter of bills and waste. You make produce, you produce waste along with it. Uh, it's gonna take the valuable sp it's gonna take the valuable space in your hideout, so we, you will need to get rid of it. No littering or pollution in, in the environment though, or eco. Pay for the fee and professionals are gonna remove the trash for you. And of course, as you use water and electricity, you're gonna pay your bills. If you don't, you're gonna lose your reputation very quick. So, are you ready for furniture shopping? So that's what we just went through. So yeah, we've gone through pretty much everything else. Um, but yeah, as we can see from this, everything you produce when it comes to drugs, you can put in these containers and when they get full, they're gonna take up a lot of space. So you need to get rid of that and you pay someone to get rid of that for you. Uh, what else? Um, handy space, it's a storage. Uh, so yeah, you can put something, let's say, in like a wardrobe over here. But if you go in here, you can just open your inventory here or open the like handy space in here. You can take things out from across the room without having to go there and open it up. That's very nice. Um, the bed to skip time and stuff like that, they, that's been a thing before. Um, I think it's really nice to be able to uh, go in the hideouts to see for yourself what they look like before you buy them. Great thing. And clothes, as I talked about, is very nice that we can decide what to wear now and what we wear uh, affects the game. Uh, and yeah, two, three player groups. Sounds very fun. Um, so yeah, uh, and I would be very much open to if some of you like uh, that are watching my stream or watching me on YouTube, if you would like to, to play the game with me someday. Uh, you can do like two, three groups and play the game. Uh, of course, when the real game is out. I think on the demo, I want to like experience it on my own and with my waist, but when the full game comes out, I would be more than happy to play with you guys. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much all the new information that we have on the game. Uh, this has just made me so much more excited to play this game tomorrow. Uh, but like I said, I, I will be, um, I will be streaming the game tomorrow. Um, I'm just not sure at what time so i will let you guys know on my discord when i go live um i will let you guys know in maybe like somewhere between 30 to five minutes before i go live so you guys have time to get a drink get a popcorn and just enjoy the show but yeah 
that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave a like. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitch if you haven't done that as well. But yeah, other than that, this has been Unlucky. Thank you so much for joining. Take care, peace, and bye.